If you're building a bubble app that is a chat GPT clone or has got any chat features where you need a chat layout, you need to check out this new plugin called Reverse Repeating Group. I've been saying to my coaching clients now uh, for many months that building a chat interface with Bubble is an uphill struggle because of the limitations on how you can display data in a repeating group. Let me show you an example. Um, here is uh, a chat GPT clone that I built and demoed the whole process of in an earlier video. Um, but you can see that I've got an issue here with the fact that uh, basically it, it, it spills too far down the page. Uh, you know, this is not a nice chat interface. And even if I was to limit the height of the repeating group, it, there will be other issues. So let me demonstrate that. I'll say, uh, not fixed height, max height, let's say 500. Uh, and then refresh it. Try refreshing that again. Okay, my issue is that it loads in at the top. Whereas actually my chat should load in at the bottom. The design that we've all become accustomed to with chats is the opposite way around to how we expect any other content on the internet to load. We expect to start at the bottom and to scroll our way up. Like I say, it's the opposite. It's bizarre, but it's what we've come to expect. And uh, yeah, this plugin here, uh, they've got a very impressive demo. And so I want to show you how you can add it into your own bubble site. Uh, so uh, let's go add plugin and uh, search for reverse. And there are a number of other plugins available and I've tried some of them and I've never really got the result that I want or that I've been as impressed by uh, compared to reverse repeating group by Thimo. Um, so then I just add in the element into my page. In fact, I'm gonna add it in here. And I then need to set the uh, ID attribute for my repeating group. And if you don't see ID attribute, you'll find that by going into settings and general and scrolling about halfway or all the way down, depending on which version of bubble you're using. And you'll, you'll find a checkbox to enable this. And it's basically a way of, of putting a label into the code, which is going to help this plugin identify the bits it needs to manipulate on the page to give us a really nice chat layout. Uh, so uh, I would just call this one the uh, re repeating group. I'll call it repeating group one. Copy that. Paste it into there. Uh, and then uh, it is also asking for my group ID. So I think I can get away of using this. This is my text bubble. I've got a nice conditional on there for changing the color depending on the role. Um, so I'm going to call this one uh, text. Uh, text one, just in case text is taken. And now let's preview it. Okay, so it's loaded in at the bottom first, which is what I wanted, but it's now actually put them in the wrong order. So let's change it up here. Rather than created dates, the sending yes, I'm going to say no, I'm going to say created date, the sending yes. There we go. I now get my most recent submission, or rather the most recent reply from OpenAI at the bottom, and uh, I get the early ones up top. Uh, so let's just test how well this works. Um, because another issue that you may encounter is scrolling down. Now I've not tested this. I'm literally trying it out for the first time. Uh, so let's say, um, uh, now write a, uh, blog post about WordPress and bubble. So I'm waiting for OpenAI to respond. But I'm already quite impressed because it shifted up automatically. I was building a chat interface in the app about a year ago and I was having to add in all of these additional workflows of scroll and check to see if there's new content. But I'm getting the impression that this is actually a rather clever plugin. Yeah. There I have it. So a bit of a recap. How have I made this work? Well, I've installed the plugin. There we have it. And I've also added a fixed height, or sorry, a max height 
to the repeating group contained in the chat. I think that's necessary to stop it still just spilling all the way down below the fold of the page. So yeah, there you have it. That is a very handy plugin. Basically the best one I've seen for reversing a repeating group, for giving a, your app a pure, simple chat interface. If you found this video useful, we would really appreciate a subscribe and a like. It just helps the old YouTube algorithm. And if you're learning Bubble, there's no better place to do so than heading to planetnocode.com where you'll find other Bubble tutorials just like this one, from beginner all the way through to advanced. Uh, and you'll find tutorials that you cannot find on YouTube. They are exclusive to our membership community. So head over to planetnocode.com to find out more. Oh,